which is the women's equivalent of the 200 freestyle. And two heats of this one. Jessica Jean Applegate, the Paralympic champion from Great Britain in lane number four. Here is Jessica Jane Applegate, again another one of the GB swimmers who made the qualification standards last week in the British Trails in Glasgow and also taking part in those uh, British Trails, which was the British International Meet, which should give it its uh, correct title, was Michelle Alonso Morales from Spain. Bethany Firth set the world record in this event just last week, not taking part in this event today. But Michelle Alonso Morales, better known as a breaststroke swimmer, set a new record, world record, in the breaststroke event last week. Yeah, her, her breaststroke was brilliant, but uh, it's nice to see her branching out and mixing it up with, uh, I guess, an event you could call a fun event. But we would expect Jessica Jane to lead this race from the front and look to get her hand on the wall first. She's got an incredible second 100, and that's where we saw her win her gold medal in London 2012. It was all in that second 100. And, uh, but she hasn't had it all her own way since, with Bethany Firth coming onto the scene, and Shabalina, who will see go in the next heat. And I notice she takes it quite personally, but one, one of Jessica's strengths is she then goes away, works really hard, and always comes back fighting, and produces times quicker than people expected her to do at the following meet. Absolutely, she has responded to the pressure put on by other athletes very, very well over the last couple of years, Jessica Jane. She swam very, very well in London. She certainly hasn't had it all her own way then, but she is certainly keeping up with the standard of this event, and she will be a major player when they come to Rio in uh, 120 days or so time doesn't seem real, does it? I, thought, I can just remember London. Her time like is yesterday. flying by, but uh, these athletes are making every day count. And Jessica Jane is an example of one of those athletes who has, as we said with some of the other nations where one athlete's gone back, she's gone back to Britain as Paralympic champion. She's in that City of Norwich program with Alex Binniger, and they've mainly made it a hub for S14 swimmers within Great Britain. Nicole Loft's gone there and Katie Nesbitt's there. So she's really an example, set an example for the next generation of less 14 athletes in Britain. And then a great example to follow is Jessica Jane Applegate. She is coming down now into the last 10 metres. Her entry time uh, slipped by 205.61, but it's comfortable. It's 210.72. And in second position is the breaststroke world record holder, 2.18 for Alonso Morales, a Spanish swimmer. Spanish having a good morning. A couple of good swims we've seen. Looks like in third place, uh, Yamina Broya. And there's Jessica Jane Applegate. Nice entry there at the front of the head she's really improved her race skills because as I said she used to in, in London we saw her rely massively on her second 100 and her strength and her determination to get her through the race but to, in, one, in her response to the challenges she's had from other people she's realized she's honed in all her skills and everything about being an athlete and she is a completely different athlete now to the one we saw in 2012 she looks in great shape to Jessica Jane Applegate. She takes that heat one in 210.72. That will be the target for the swimmers just coming out for the second heat. And included in those second heat swimmers is the world champion. That's the swimmer in lane number four. Maria Shabalina of Russia. Shabalina, also the European champion. She came onto the scene, really burst onto the scene in 2014. And she 
took the European title. Something of a, of a surprise, really, when Jessica Jane Applegate was pretty much the favourite for that one. But Chabalina, twice now, has managed to get ahead of Applegate. But as we've seen, it's brought out the best in Jessica Jane, and she's really moving it on as well, so it's would be a good race tonight. It was the final day of the World Championship. Chabalina had a, a great competition in Glasgow over that week. Jessica Jane Applegate winning the, the 100 backstroke on the very last day of competition. Ahead of Shabalina, who was very much the favourite for this one. So a real good head-to-head. -head. Well, spicy. Exciting race hopping up for Rio, for sure. Exciting race hunting up for tonight, possibly. I'd love to get the upper hand. Chabalina leads. In third. And Chabalina looking pretty comfortable here. We've seen her do something similar to the, the men's heat there, go out really fast in the heats. Not really with any concept of pace, generally, and she's gone out fairly, fairly well here. Certainly not on record pace, but not too far away at all. But often a swimmer gets a lot of confidence, especially in the S14 classification, from being out in front. So she will have used that first hundred to establish a lead, and I think now we'll see her relax a little bit and just ease her way to the finish, but knowing that she's going to finish in first place of the seat. Oh, she's taking on a lot of oxygen there, breathing every stroke there. So it looks fairly good. Good battle for second position. Chabalina leads them. Lindbergh in second. Franson still holding on to third place. And the top four places in that previous heat, 223.81 was fourth position. We'll all kind of try and get in ahead of the fifth place swimmer, 229.02 for Coronado. Certainly one that's going to be inside that. Shabalina, she's in now, 208.29. That's slightly faster than Jessica Jane Applegate. They will be side by side in that final. And the three swimmers all finishing there, 219, 220. And I think those three swimmers will finish together. We'll be in that final. But the fifth place swimmer, uh, Rosendez Garcia from Mexico. He will miss out on that final. We'll wait for confirmation of the results. But she looked pretty good, Shabalina. Not really. I don't think. No, I think when you've only got to lose a few swimmers, then there's quite a big discrepancy between the fastest and the slower ones of the heat. You can't ever read too much into those those front runners because they've got the capacity to to go so easy but still look so good. Well looking forward to that final. That promises to be a cracking final as well. The two S14 finals for men and women. Got big head to heads in prospect there. Shabalina certainly be in the mix for that European title she wins that one 208.29 Lindbergh in second Seshkina in third and Franson in fourth I think from my calculations they should all make the final this evening should make the top eight there is the top eight Shabalina top so far Applegate in second Alonso Morales in third place at the moment, 218.29. So, be a real good tussle for the bronze medal position. But I think it's hard probably.